Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're gonna play Sagrada. This game supports one to four players, it's for ages 13 and up, and the average play time is 30 to 45 minutes. We just got this game in the mail, and this is our first time playing, so there may be a rules goof or two. So based on what I read, uh, this is a dice drafting game. We're going to be trying to build a stained glass window in our own personal cathedral. At the beginning of the game, each player receives one of these cathedral boards, and they also get a card to go along with it. Um, there's a number of different ones in the box. Uh, each player gets four, well, two cards, and there's a front and back for each. So you're going to choose one of these four designs and then decide to slide it into your little cathedral there. The number of these white favor tokens depends on the number of pips. This serves as the difficulty, three being the easiest and six being the hardest. We both chose a four-dotted... Uh, card. Sure, we'll go with card. <laughs> All right. Bingo card. Yeah, bingo card, basically. We, each player also gets one of these uh, secret color cards. Uh, we get extra bonus points at the end of the game for every card, or every die, rather, that we have in our cathedral of that color. Okay, uh, so we've got the favor tokens. The favor tokens are used to perform these tool actions. That's the little yellow cards on the top. Um, there are a number of tool cards available. We just draw three at random and we put them out here. Uh, to use a tool card on our turn, we're going to use one of these favor tokens, assuming that the card doesn't have any on it at all. If there's already a favor token there, then we have to spend two to use it. Okay. So these tool cards allow us to break the standard placement rules and the other things. These are end game bonus bonuses to shoot for. This is a private goal here, but these are public goals. So this one is, you get five points for every column with no repeated colors. This is four points for every set of one of each color anywhere. So if you have, say, two yellow, three green, four blue, five purple, and six red, the least number of, of a particular die color you have is two, being the yellow. So you get two, two sets, so that's four points each, that's eight. And then this one is uh, color diagonals. Uh, count the number, uh, count. The count of diagonally adjacent same color dice. Okay, so for every same color dice diagonally in our grid, we get a point for that. Okay, so on a typical turn, the active player will take out so many dice from the bag to begin the drafting process. It's two per player plus one. So in a two-player game, there's going to be five dice. Two for her, two for me, one extra. So the active player will take a die, and then the next player will take a die, and then if they're the last player, and in my case it's a two-player game. So let's say Ida Lee is the active player. She would take one, I would take one, then I would take the third one, she would take the fourth one. We'd have one left over, and that would go on the round tracker here, and at the end of ten rounds, the game would end. Okay? Um, and then we'll flip this over, and we'll start tallying points, and whoever has the most points wins. That is a basic overview of Sagrada. There are some placement rules that I didn't go over. Um, for example, you can start on any edge at the beginning, but after that, each die that you place has to be placed adjacent, uh, both or, e either orthogonally or diagonally to the existing dice that you have in your tableau. Um, you also have to watch these uh, placement restrictions. So you can only place a red die here, or a blue die there, a green die there. These gray and white colored ones, those are just values, so you have to place a five there, a three there, or a one there, or four there, and so on. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this started. Um, I'll let you be the active player. For, whoever had last visited a cathedral goes first, okay. basically. So the tools that we have available to us, um, after drafting, re-roll the drafted die. If it cannot be placed, return it to the draft pool. This is the lens cutter after drafting. Uh, swap the drafted die with a die from the round tracker here. Or uh, the, what is that, grozing? I can't read it, I'm too far away, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I, I, grossing pliers. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, after drafting, increase or decrease the value of the drafted die by one. One may not turn into a six, and a six may not turn into a one. And again, there are a number of these tools in the box. These are the ones that we picked for this game. There are a number of these uh, public goals as well in the box. These are the ones that just came up for our game. And I think we're ready to go. Here's a question, though. Uh -huh. How come the first diagram has one change to a four? That's a three. Oh, that's a three? Mm-hmm. It's hard to see the pips on those, oh, those black and white. Oh, I see it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a three. All right, so draw, yeah, take out five dice, five. and then give them a roll. 
All right, so you've got a one, six, three... Five. Sure. One, one, three, six, five. Okay. Um, and then I pick one. Yeah, you pick, pick one. one. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You pick one, I pick one, then I pick another one, then you pick another one, and then the extra one goes here. Oh, man, I don't like any of these. <laughs> of course not. They're all so terrible. Okay. Another placement rule that I forgot to touch on, you cannot put um, the same color die orthogonally adjacent to each other, or the same value die adjacent to each other that way either. So, in this case, I could not put a red here and a red here because they're adjacent to each other, it's the same color. Nor could I put a 5 here, which is required, and another 5 here, 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 or here. You can put a 5 diagonally, but not adjacent. Okay, that's another important placement rule. Um, huh. Already looking to see what I can do? Darn right. <laughs> that was, that's quick. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh-huh. Total, total jokes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah, I don't like any of these. All right, I'll do this. The one on the one. No, it has to be on an edge. Oh, that's it has funny. to. The first die has to start on an edge, and from there it has to be placed adjacent, orthogonally, or diagonally. I forgot about that. So you can okay. start with the six, okay. Okay, or, the, or the green three. Yeah, because mm -hmm. why not? Okay. Um, I will start with... I right, know this is uh, one one five. All right, I'm gonna start with the. How do you get these cards? The by. You don't. Tokens? What? No, those are just at oh. the end of the game. You score points for that. Okay. You don't actually get them. I see. But you want to observe them to try and get more points at the end of the game if you can. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, that's right, sir. No, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So the green one, I'm gonna place there, and I get to place another one. Um, so what? I'm, oh, because it's your turn. It, yeah, it is now my oh, turn to draft okay. again. I'm going to put the yellow six here, okay. and now you draft one of those two dice, and I the see. extra one goes on the one space. I see. Do you get points for the values of the dice or no? Um, I didn't go over endgame scoring yet, but um, endgame scoring, you flip this over, and you get points for the public objective cards here, a private objective card here, any unspent favor tokens, and you lose a point for each empty space in your window. No, these particular values do not count unless it counts in a public goal somewhere. I see. Okay. That's helpful. Um, oh, it's going to screw me up, though. All right. I'm going to go ahead and actually zoom in and try and get our... Hmm. I have to turn them different, man. All right. I guess that's good. No, I'll get this one then. Oh, this is tough. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. No, because then if I do it, you know what, no. These are score markers, by the way. They're only used at the end of the game when we're ready to tally our score. <laughs> what was that? I'm done. Okay. <laughs> nerve-wracking. All right. I'm so nerve-wracking. All right, here we go. Five dice. One, two, three, four... Five, I think. I don't know what my strat is going to be. Like, do I use tools early on or not? Well, again, the first tool that anyone uses is only one. Oh, yeah. After that, it's it costs two to use. That's All right. True. Oops. I mean, well, roll these. That was the three. Well. Oh my god. I accidentally hit like a number of dice, so <laughs> fat fingers. All right. So three, three, four, five, six. There. Okay. So. <sighs> Which one was this one? That is, you get five points for columns, no columns with no repeating colors. Now, is it only these colors, or is it just like any? any colors? It just says no repeating colors. There's okay. five colors in the game. So you don't have to follow. No, you don't have to do green, purple, yellow, blue specifically. Okay. There could be other colors in there. Like, I'm sure. okay, because I didn't see a red there. I didn't know if a red had to be in the column. N no, it doesn't. Okay. Just yeah. Um. Okay. So. See, if I put a yellow four here, that would ruin that, um, so I don't want to do that. Um, the tool is, I can do after drafting, increase the... Mm, I hate to use that so soon. Alright, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to take the blue three and put that adjacent to my yellow there. And you get to choose two of them. Why would you do that? Well, what do you mean, why would I why do that? Why would you do that? Because I wanted to. <laughs> 
Patois. Patois. <laughs> ah. Alright. Ah. Um. <laughs> uh. Alright, I got this. Uh huh. Okay, give me that red three. The red three. Yeah. And then you get one of one of those as well. Yellow four, yellow five, yellow six. Um. And again, we've got tools that are available. be adjacent to an existing die. Oh, are you serious? Yes. I keep forgetting. Oh! <sighs> you could do... Okay. I could do that. Okay. And now you get to pick a yellow. I, I, I'm, that's the only place I can put it because if I put it here, I can't because it's the same value. Right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, I can do Yeah, that. you can't put two threes next to each other or... Yeah. Oh. Now you get to pick one of these. Oh, that's right. Um, mm -hmm. I go, you go twice, then I go. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Then the I power will. is in the cards. Values don't matter. I keep forgetting. Um, what's wait? What's more harder to roll? Well, that's a one in six chance. Right? Now keep in mind, if you put a yellow one here, you're not going to be able to score that no. because there'll be two yellows next to it. You can't have two yellows next to each other. Yeah, I have to. So you'd have to put a yellow either. <gasps> oh. There you go. Your yellow four there. Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't really want to do that though because I have a plan. Okay, you have a plan. Okay. Can I pass? You can pass. You just won't be able to place any. It's less die that you'll have at the end of the game and then you have more holes in your cathedral. No, okay. Or your window, rather. Oh man, you know what? I'll just do it here. Okay. Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take the six. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take the six, do that. All right, and now your turn. You get to take five out of the bag. And knock them all over? No. Like you did? No. <laughs> no. I have fat fingers. What do you want? I do too. I do too. Mm-hmm. Four, five. Okay. I don't even know the colors. What's on her wrist? Okay. Spaz. <laughs> four. Ah, oh, that's the fours. One. Wow, that's a lot of fours. Shoot. It's a full house. Two. You fours and ones. This is total BS. This stinks. This is total BS. All right. Um. Ah. Oh. Remember, you can place diagonally. You can, whenever you're placing, you can place dice that are diagonal as well. Okay, I see. I see. I see. I see what you mean. You still have to observe the adjacent, yeah. orthogonal, same, no same color, no same value rule. Okay. I'm gonna take the purple and put it here. Okay. Now I get to draft two of those. Um, I want to do the red four here, and see the yellow one would mess that up. The green one would mess that up because I'm, I'm trying to score that. Mm -hmm. um, so I one more. Um, I can do. I could do a green one there, like so, and you get to choose one of those. I have to pass. No, you don't. I do, because look, I can't place any of the fours here because. You can put a yellow one. one here. If you, but then. But then I would. Yeah, or. Mess well, no, about, what about this one? That's a three. That's a three. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't. It's up to you on if you well no is there any tools that can help you out? Oh, that's you can right. use a uh, you can use this to adjust the value of a die up by. Oh, that's right. Hold on, I might. I'm or this tool then. Um, hold on. This guess. after drafting, swap the drafted die. With, so, is there a die on the track that you would like to have or use? Yeah. You could draft the die, then swap it out with one of these, or. You can roll. You can draft one, and then re-roll it. I'm gonna swap it. Okay. So which die are you drafting from here, and then what die are you gonna swap with? I'm swapping. You could That's draft. You could draft the yellow, take the red, and put the red here, or you can put the red there. Yeah, I want the red, but I'm trying to figure out which one I should give up, and I don't know. Oh, that would be four. That's 
one. You need the one. Do I? Oh no, you need the green. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm. Will do so competitive. <laughs> and now I can place this. Yes, yeah, so you can place that. <laughs> I'm so mean. All right. All right, you good? Yeah. All right, so that goes here. <laughs> Terrible. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Good job. All right, one, one, two, six, six. Awesome sauce. Um, perfect. I will put the blue one nice. here, and you get two of those. Crap. <laughs> I will take the six one and put it here. Smart. And I will also do hmm. I will take the red one and put it here. Okay. Well, that's not, that's good. You're doing your diagonals there? Oh, fudge nuggets. What? What? That means I won't be able to complete this column for that thing. Oh, because you have two reds in that column? Yeah. Well, that might be unavoidable, I'm just saying. Um, do you want to take it back? Mm, oops, shoot. That was a one. Um, you want to put back the one and put either a two or a six somewhere? I almost want to. This, um... Because having... It's up, it's up to you. Having... Okay, you know what I'll do? Fudge man. I can't. <laughs> Fudge man. <laughs> these these printed numbers on the card yeah, they're, really mess me up. They're hard to see, I know. Oh, you said adjacent. I wouldn't be able to put that there, can what, I? What are you? What, what? Last turn when I did that? No, you could do that. I could do that? You okay. can, whenever you're placing, it can be... Whenever you're placing, it can either be orthogonal or diagonal. I see. But adjacent orthogonal, it can't be the same color and it can't be the same number. I see, I see. Okay, you know what? I'm going to grab the two. Okay. And put that there. Okay. I will... Oh. I will grab the one and put that ah, there. I probably should have grabbed that. All right, and that blue six goes there. Oh, I was going to grab it. <laughs> All right. Um, I went. Your turn. No, because I took. I took those and I rolled, didn't I? No, it's your turn to roll because um, I took the last die. So that means I went first and I went last. So you get. It's your uh, turn. Okay. Pretty sure. Yeah. Whatever. Game's almost halfway over already. Wow, this is a fast game. Mm -hmm. I'm making there it longer. <laughs> Well, you're supposed to think. I mean. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Alright. Oh my gosh, so many yellows. I see this. Alright. One, 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 three, five. Okay. Oh, um, mm. this special bonus card, it's the sum of the values. So if my, if I had red, for example, it'd yeah. be four plus one is five. It's, oh, it's Jesus. not, it's not per die. I just read it now. It's okay. not per die, it's the sum. But still, it's still good. Okay. So you want to take, I guess, high-value dice of the color that you're after, if you can. Yeah. Man, just messed me up. Sorry. Hey, I, I messed up too. <laughs> There's a lot of dice I could have taken that would have helped me out, I'm yeah. just saying. Um, okay. Man. I don't like any of these. I, um, okay. I'm going to actually use a favorite thing okay. and increase this by one so it's a four. Okay. And I will place it here. Okay. I will take the blue five mm -hmm. and put that here. And out of two yellow ones and one red one, I will put a, I can't, I can't put a yellow one there. Um, I could put a yellow one here. Could do something like that. Um, or I'm going to. Hmm. 
I'm going to use the tool. I have to use two of these because it's mm -hmm. already, someone's already there. I'm going to swap the red one mm -hmm. with this blue one yeah. and put the blue six there. You son of a thing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I see what you were trying to do to me. So now you have to place one of those yellow ones, basically. Stupid yellows. You've got a couple. Well, see, so you can't place it here because there's a one there. Um, yeah, what about? And a yellow there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just place it here. Then. There you go. All right. That Ugh. goes there. That's horrible. Your turn. I have a feeling that neither of us are going for yellow. Well, <laughs> I mean, I've got some yellow there, but still. One, two, three, four, five. I think you're going after blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Six, four, four, two. Oh, green mm -hmm. six is rather nice. Um, actually, no, I can't put it there, but I can put it here. I can also put a green six here, might as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. You get two of those. I'll grab the one. Grab the one? Right here. Um, this is terrible. Wow. Wow, I was right. Our rolls are just awful. How many colors are there? Uh, there should be five. I see, I see. I think. Blue, green, yellow, red, and purple. Okay. I am going to spend two. Okay. To decrease this one to three. Okay. I have to draft either the yellow two or the blue, or the yellow two or the yellow four. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, I guess the yellow two. I don't think it. Well, let's do the four. Yeah. All right. And your turn. Okay. Man. Ah! <laughs> Stinks is I have no purple. Three, four, five. Okay. Some purples better start coming up. I'm just saying. Uh, seriously. Wow. One purple. <laughs> um. All right. I'll grab the purple. Of course you will. You'll grab it. It was a six. Yeah. I saw okay. it. I'll grab the purple six and. Well, I can't. <laughs> that stinks. Mm -hmm. I have two choices to put in. I can either put it here or here. But if I put it here, this column won't be like that. What you got going on? So. <laughs> Let's see. Never mind what I'm doing. I'm doing. Oh. Now it depends what you pick. I bet you you're probably going to pick. The red there. And you're probably going to pick either red or blue because you might have a blue card. Yeah. Okay, I guess it wouldn't matter. Go no, because there's two reds. So I get to pick two of those. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put the red four there. And. Let's, yeah. Let's see what I got. Yeah. Can't put a green five there because there's a blue five. Uh, putting a red next to red can't do it. Okay, so I can't put. I can put a green five, not can't. Um, so I'm limited there. I can do a green five down here. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm going to, I really don't want to use this now. I just don't know if I'll ever get it. 
Now, I'll hold on. In, in case of an emergency, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and put the green five here. And then you get to pick either the red two or the blue one. All right, so that goes there. Mm, that's six. Five men. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. I got some purple this time. All right, two green fives, a purple six. About time. Um, I'm going to take the purple one and put that here. I don't like you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Why? All right. I'll take the purple six. The purple six. Um, I'll put it here. All right. You get one. You get one more. Either a green five or a red one. Actually, I'll put it here. Okay. Um, green five. Nice. That's a good. Okay, so I have to choose. Um, I should have gave. You, I should have took the red. I'll do that. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> that ties that diagonal yeah. green chain there. Good stuff. Yeah. Wow. The only one that I can put here is a blue five. Wow. Or a yellow five. Well, no, any five because the column yeah. doesn't matter. I already screwed myself on that column. Well, you, if you can get a yellow five. No, because I already have a purple here, so that I wouldn't be able to score. Oh, oh, purple. right, right. I just meant to fill it. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to fill it. Anyway. Yeah. All right, you can pick five now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was still thinking. While I was picking. One, two, three. I want to play. Five. <laughs> Oh wow. Wow, a lot of high high rollers there. Purple two. Oh, man. None that I need. Alright. Um, oh. oh, okay. I'll do the red six. I have a feeling you've got the red special card. You're getting a lot of high reds there. Just saying. That's what I said, dog. Purple two. Yeah. Okay. I will do the. Yikes. Yikes. Indeed. I can do a red six here. And. I may not be able to place. Alright, I'm going to have to use this. Question is, how am I going to use that? Um, the to the oh, for the draft? I, yeah, for a tool. I, just, I haven't figured out what I want, what tool I want to use. But you'd have to pay four, wouldn't you? No, it's two. It's just two. It's one if there's no favor tokens on it, two if there are favor tokens oh, on it. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I thought I'd have to pay four. That's why I went no. with this one. Okay, told you not. I did explain. Did, you heard me explain it in the beginning. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, I could have swapped. It's our first game. It's I could have swapped and filled this stupid one in. Okay. I will decrease this four. That stinks. By one, two, or three. Wow, yeah. that was the only one I needed. I was hoping you wouldn't pick that one. <laughs> I can't place any of them. You can't? No. Really? No. Oh, because They're six... All adjacent. What about... Oh, yeah, the blue one would mess with that green one. The, the six, the yellow, okay. So these, if you have to pass, it goes like that. And that was the only final one. round, I think you get to... No, it's yours. Is it mine? I was praying. I was like, please don't please, 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 please. <laughs> 
I kind of had to. Yeah. One, two, three, okay. four, five. Okay. Right. Hopefully, be able to place one of these at least. Um, okay. So I can't place the fives or the sixes, so those are out, at least here. So, and I can't do, okay, so I can do a purple four. I just have to accept the fact that I'll never get this two, basically. So I'm going to put that purple four there. And, yep. You get to draft whatever. The yellow, mm -hmm. you can do the yellow five for sure. You can either place it there or there. Yeah. Um, and then... The red five can't go here because you've got two red dice next to it. Yeah. Mm. That's hard. <laughs> That's the only one I could do is yellow five. Um, actually, oh no. You'll get more points if you do it one way or over another. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So. Because of the. I I would get more points if I put it in the column thing than the diagonal thing, right? Well, here's. Oh oh okay. yeah. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I was thinking here because of the yellow diagonals, but um, yeah, you would get five, five points, points, yeah, five. as opposed to four, mm -hmm. yeah, or yeah, because you'd have, you'd get one, two, three for those diagonals, but yeah, you've got two purples in that column, so you would not get that mm -hmm. column bonus. Um, so now, can you place another one? All right, now can I place one of the remaining ones? The answer is no. I need a two. None of these are two, so these go here. So all of these come off now. Um, and now we flip this over and we score. He totally won. <laughs> nah, I doubt it. He totally won. Alright, so we'll start with you. Mm -hmm. um, so let's look at the back and see what we needed again. This was uh, each public objective. So column, color, variety. Five points for each unique column. Um, you had three. one, <laughs> two, three. Okay, so that's 15 points, right? Mm -hmm. So you're on 15. I had 20. one, two, three, four, so I'm up to 20. Nice. Next is color variety, sets of one of each color anywhere. Um, I, the least amount of colors I had was purple, which was two, so I have at least two sets. Um, I've got, yeah, so I've got two sets, that's eight points. Oh, jeez. So eight points is 28, and you have... Oh, I should have got more blue. You had one blue, so that's one set Dang, that's of four. four points. Right, so you're on 15 and 19. Wow. Um, next is diagonals. Um, I had one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. So, so I'm good. on 43. And what diagonals did you have? Nine. Nine? Uh, nine plus 19 is 28. Okay, next up is private objectives. I had blue. Yeah, purple. purple. Oh, you had to look for purple. You have 10, 16, 20, 22. Is it? Yeah, 10 here, 10 here, and a 2. Oh, That's yeah. 22. So that's uh, 40. A 20, no, 28 plus 22 is 50, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and my blues were 9, 14, uh, 17, 18. 18. 18 plus 43 is 61. So I'm here. Nice. And one victory point for each unspent token. We have none. Lose one victory point for each space. So two. you lose two, and yes. I lose one. Not bad. So I'm 60 to 48. My. What did you think? My, I loved it. I really did. You like this game? I, my bad problem was that I didn't have any purples early on, so I wanted to build off like diagonals and mm -hmm. purples, and there were no purples coming out. I was so mad <laughs> until the end of it, and I'm, by then it was too late. That was fun, though. I like it. It's A, it's a beautiful game. Yeah. B, I love the dice drafting. I like I like how colorful it is. It's The art is beautiful. Um, I love the dice drafting. I love the strategy. I love the tools and the different goals that are available. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to show the folks at home some of the other cards that are in the box. Um, like, here are some of the other difficulty cards. Uh, so this is a six difficulty. Um, again, this would give you six favor tokens at the beginning of the game because it's the hardest there. But yeah, there's a front and back. There's, as you can see, there's a bunch of different starting uh, 
arrays you could possibly have, depending on what you get and what you choose. Again, you get four. Well, two cards and then four designs, and you pick one of those four. Um, and then there's, there's the secret bonus cards. Again, one for each color. Um, these are all the other bonuses. Uh, shade variety sets of one of each value anywhere. So just like the colors, it's one through six for every set you have. Row color variety, same as the columns. Um, row shade variety, uh, column shade variety, uh, light shade sets of ones and two values anywhere, medium shades sets of threes and fours anywhere, and then fives and sixes anywhere, and then some of the other tools that we didn't use. Uh, the, the colors in the upper left, those are only used in the solo variant of the game, which I have not read up on, but I just, I read that at least. So yeah, all these different other tools that could possibly have come up for our game, but those are the three that came up for this one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I really, I would play this again wholeheartedly. Absolutely. This is the, so good. The only critique I guess that I have mm -hmm. is um, I wish there were more ways to kind of like modify dice. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, I mean. I, I didn't like how we only had four. I wish there was a way to also like gain favor tokens to modify dice, mm -hmm. you know. But that would make the game too easy It though. would, it kind of would. But that's why, I don't know, I would implement um, Well, yeah, we could do like a house rule beginner variant where mm -hmm. maybe maybe on the fifth round of the tracker, mm -hmm. maybe like each player gets two favor tokens halfway through the game or, you know, just some, some bonus for passing the halfway mark. Yeah. Or maybe one on the three, one on the seven, or just, you know, something weird like that. Again, house ruling, extra yeah. variants, that kind of thing. Or like every time you want a favorite token everyone has to get the favorite token you know something like that really i don't know okay well no, that's, that's interesting <laughs> or like the the person would have to get first dibs on I don't know, two dice. <laughs> right, well, that's interesting. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other variants. Board Game Geek people often have a lot of variants out there. Um, here's a quick look at the solo rules in case you're curious. Um, I don't know if you guys can actually pause the video and read that, but in case you're curious, that's the, the solo rules. And the rule book isn't that big either. It's just, just that. It's simple. And I would totally simple. have it so that we would have two Two windows? Oh my gosh. Oh my. That would be interesting, a two-player like, variant. Yeah. Just have two windows to manage as opposed to just one. Because this reminds me a lot of bingo, and I think two would like be so much more satisfying. But you'd have more choices with two... Like, you'd have too many choices with two windows, though. Like, I, I know. I'd love it. Like, what you couldn't put in one, you'd easily be able to probably fit in the other one. You know well, what I mean? That's, then that's where this whole favor stuff you know, wouldn't be changed. You right, know? Because right. Because it's, it's kind of tough putting down stuff. Well, for me it was. I think a lot... You did like, good! I'm well, I think my bad strat was I was trying to fill stuff from the corner and then try to, like, fill it in as yeah. went on. But you, like, started up really strong. You went, like, from top straight to middle. And when you go into the middle, you can fill everything around it. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty good. My goal was to fill in the special spots as quickly as possible. Because yeah. I didn't know it's harder to rule those naturally mm -hmm. than... Uh, to use an ability. So I, I wanted to fill in those with as many natural dice as possible so that I had more leeway with the other dice. Yeah. And I also had to watch my, you know, if I was starting to surround a space, I had to make sure that I was surrounding it with all sixes or all fives so that I had more freedom to fill that spot with something. Because I had two sixes here and two fives. Mm -hmm. So filling this four, like, you know, if this was a one, this was a two, and that was a three, that was a four only a five or six would go here of a particular color and that would be too limiting. Yeah. So like there's some strategy in how you place these things. I, I really like this. I really do. Me too. Yeah. Well that was Sagrada. Um, definitely one of my picks for DGA's top 10 this year. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye guys.